Oh hey guys, it's me, Jimmy. In this video, I'm going to have some street foods at a night market in Thailand. They had lots of different foods that are super affordable, and I met some really great people there too. So please watch this video and find out what happens. Mm. The night market that I visited is called SWU Night Market. It happens every Friday in this SWU University campus, and you can expect a good mix of modern and traditional night market experience. I heard that it's a pretty big night market and a lot of locals come to enjoy it, so I am dying to experience some of their food. Seeing how everything is looking already, I think this is going to be an amazing time. The weather was extremely hot and this ice cream truck was the first thing that I saw, so I decided to have this as a warm-up. Can I get a vanilla ice cream? Fantastic. Thank you. The weather is really hot in Bangkok right now, so a simple ice cream like this, I can really appreciate it. Wow. So soft and creamy. You know how when ice cream is not good, it's like kind of hard and icy? It's like super soft, tastes very milky. Mmm. True men get their ice cream in their waffle cones. True men get their nails done too. I'm mostly here for food, but I appreciate how they have these things that are suitable for a night market experience. It's a Thai deep fried sausage. Can I get one medium sour? That's a fried sausage that I just got for 50 baht and it came with a side of salad. It looks like it's ginger, chili pepper, and some cabbage. Okay, enough salad. Look at this sausage, it looks like it exploded. Being honest with you guys, I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of this. It tastes very fresh for sure. It's filled with some kind of glass noodles and other things that I'm not so sure of. I expected it to be a little bit more on the protein heavy side, like, like an actual sausage that they just deep fried. Yeah, to me it was nice to have one or two, but it was very sour. Well, that was just a warm-up. Let's go get some more food. And how about this vendor right here? Oh, I love these skewers. These skewers look pretty good. Is this beef? Yes. Can I have one beef skewer? Thank you. It was a simple sweet skewer. Because it was so affordable, I was worried that the beef might be low quality. Turns out the beef itself was actually quite good as well. It's gonna be pretty hard to beat this deal. Nice and sweet. It's not too tough, it's not too blobby. Good and cheap. How often do you hear that, right? Talking about cheap, this spring roll was even cheaper. It only cost 12 baht. There was a minimum order of 4, but the vendor kindly let me order two. One salmon. One salmon. Uh, one chicken. Thank you. So the spring rolls came with this. I think that's the sauce. All right, let's try that chicken spring roll. Let me put this chicken spring roll in my mouth. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty simple. Uh, this rice wrap, uh, it felt really fresh and clean. I mean, for what I paid, I'm very satisfied. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting a little thirsty. How about I get some smoothie from this vendor? This avocado smoothie looks pretty fantastic. Let's have a taste of that avocado coconut milk smoothie. The name of it sounds really amazing. The smoothie was super thick that it came with a spoon. It also had pieces of coconut meat, which I thought was really amazing. Mm. Some much needed hydration. Oh, forgot to get the straw. There it is. I'm gonna suck you dry. What I really appreciate about this night market is that it seems that there are some tourists, but unlike most other businesses around the world, they didn't jack up the price just because they can. I think everything here is pretty fairly priced. 
On one side of the market, there was live music and a picnic area where people can just relax. Isn't it beautiful, guys? All these young Thai people sitting on the grass with their family and friends. I don't know, I never really had family time like that growing up, so I am extremely envious and I think it's really cool. One day, if I have my family, one day if it ever happens, I'll do this with my family too. When I do have my family though, I'm gonna make sure that my wife is hot. Okay, enough crazy talk, let's get back to the food. Can I have one hot dog waffle? There you go. Whatever that is, that's special. So there's uh, some syrups. Uh, I think I'm gonna have some, some of that honey. Oh yeah, chocolate. Half chocolate. This is the Pride Month. I wanna introduce some diversity. Strawberry syrup. So that's interesting. It's pretty much waffle, but with like a sausage in there. This one kind of tasted like frozen waffle. You know how those are like super soggy? It is kind of a weird food. It's only 20 baht and I think it's fun. Well, this is kind of cool. I found some Korean food. These are some uh, pretty good looking kimbap. I had them as a child before. I still have them occasionally. That looks like kimbap and some fried chicken. Nice little lunchbox with Korean food for 100 baht. Compared to other vendors, that feels a little expensive to be, to be honest. Oh wow. Hello. They have tteokbokki here too. Korea is really going somewhere. The lady just asked me if she can take a photo of me. I told her she can. She probably has no idea that I'm on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can I have one tteokbokki? I want to have this kimari too. One and one. Okay, let's find out if tteokbokki in Thailand is good. Hello. <laughs> I noticed that the vendors had their kids with them too. And as a great uncle figure, I wanted to buy them something. Can I buy them some jelly? I, I buy the kids jelly. Can I do that? Okay, guys, guys, come get your jelly. <laughs> They're going crazy. <laughs> come on, guys, come on, get your jelly. Hello, sir. I'll get them some jelly. Here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. As much as you want. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I love that one too. I love that one. They really know what they're getting. Okay, we don't have all night. Come on. While they're picking their jelly, another random girl just joined. I'm guessing it's their friend. Hey, you want a jelly too? Okay, go get your jelly. <laughs> some random kid joined, but that's okay. Thank God I have enough money to get some jelly for them. Oh, this is like the greatest thing ever. <laughs> they're so excited. Can I see? <laughs> oh, they got so little. 27? Here. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Here's my gift. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, guys. Bye. <laughs> How much is it? Eighty-eight. All right. Let's try this tteokbokki, Korean food in Thailand. 
<laughs> I wonder where those kids came from. I thought they're the kids of these vendors. <laughs> they might have been random kids. One thing that I have to say though, this tteokbokki, it tastes exactly the same as Korea. Like 100% same as the one that I had in Korea. And this ginmari. You know you're supposed to do that, right? You don't just eat the ginmari. Mm. Wow, very crispy. Not gonna lie, this is surprisingly good. Come on, guys. Come on. Wanna buy? Mm. Wow. Such great people. Good kids, too. That ball of whatever that is, that looks, that looks weirdly appetizing. So I'd like to get one. Can I have one? Okay. Okay. Here you go. I'm gonna take this. It kind of looks like a weapon from Elden Ring. Let me take a bite. Oh my god. Hmm, oh my god. I like this. Very good. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much a corn dog that's in a spear form. Nothing too crazy. It's a very night market food. I like it. There is a chicken tender stall here. Can I have this one? one? Yes. 15 baht. Maybe I should have gotten more than one because this is literally just one piece of chicken tender. The portion looks kind of small because that's only one piece of chicken tender. But you got to realize that I only paid like 40 cents just now. It's very chicken teriyaki. Good protein. Who doesn't appreciate that? I also found this taiyaki stall, so I decided to give it a try. So I just got a Japanese style taiyaki. Let me take a bite first. Mm. Unlike some of the taiyaki or bungapang that I had before, the bread part is like extremely soft. Usually a lot of people like it crispy. This is a very cute stall with just one lady working in there. I am dehydrated. I could use some something to drink. Um, I'll get ruby grapefruit puree. Okay. That's my ruby grapefruit puree. It's so easy to get dehydrated in Thailand. I pretty much have to drink like double, triple the amount of water that I normally drink. If I don't drink often, I get exhausted. All right, I think that marks the end of my journey today. What did you guys think? It's a really fun experience, right? If you guys get a chance, come visit Thailand and their SWU market. And also, please, wherever you are in the world, please be kind to children. Because uh, I didn't experience a lot of kindness growing up as a child. And uh, I wish other children don't go through that. Hold on, guys. The video's not over yet. Oh, it's you guys. It's awesome that you guys are here. I had some great news to share. You guys already know that you guys can listen to my songs for absolutely free and that's gonna help me pay my bills. And thankfully, many of you guys have been listening to my lo-fi playlist. So I decided to start an additional playlist that is exclusively relaxing, fantastic, amazing, phenomenal piano songs. Please check out my new playlist using the link down below. And I'm sure you guys are going to love the songs. All right, now you guys can go back to my video. I'm gonna keep doing what I do best creation.